Good afternoon, brothers. JK, your brother in this struggle here with another episode of Porn Reboot Coach in the Porsche. Today, it's less about answering a question and more about sharing an important perspective. For those of you who are new, I'm JK Maisie. I'm the founder of Elevated Recovery and head coach at the Porn Reboot Coaching System. We help high-performing executives, entrepreneurs, and business owners control their out-of-control behavior with pornography and masturbation within 90 days. Today, I'm going to be talking about why most guys stagnate after their reboot. There are a lot of men who feel that once they control their sexual behavior, once they stop watching pornography, once they stop compulsively masturbating or going to massage parlors or visiting with escorts or fucking around on OnlyFans, you feel that you're suddenly going to become a better father. You're suddenly going to open that second or third business. You're going to become a lot more focused. You're going to start investing. You're going to transform your body. You're going to become a better leader or better CEO. And it doesn't happen. And you end up relapsing as a result after all that hard work because you're expecting that something phenomenal is going to happen. And oftentimes this just happens because of the amount of effort that you put into controlling this. You're used to putting in a lot of effort in college, in starting a business in your career and having there be exponential growth, exponential results. But when it comes to this behavior, you can feel as if like, yeah, well, it's good to not have the shame. It's good to not have the guilt, but I thought for all of the effort I put in, there would be much more, but there isn't. Here's a perspective. Let's pick some sports. Let's say the NFL or soccer or cricket leagues, right? <clears throat> there are two types of individuals who go pro in sports, particularly team sports that pay a lot at the highest level. There are those who both worked hard, you know, throughout their high school, college. Sometimes they came from a family of people who played this sport. They're very gifted, they're talented, they put in all the work. One athlete makes it to the major leagues and he's excited. He's like, man, like all the work I put in, all the effort I put in has finally brought me here. Now he's gonna make a good salary. He's gonna be able to take care of his mom and his dad. He's going to be able to do all the things he wants to do. Like the sacrifice was worth it. And as a player, he's mediocre because that was the goal. The goal was to get to that point after all the hard work. It took him years. The second type is the type who gets there. He did the same thing. He put in all the work through college and high school. He's finally here. But his mindset is, this is where it begins. Like all this work was to get here and to put in the work and play the game. And now I need to learn how to be excellent. I've made it to the pros, but I need to put in the work to become better and better and become great. And this is the individual who has a longer career, who has lucrative deals during his career, who might even become famous, be able to do some philanthropic things, but really, really takes full advantage of the game. He doesn't peter out. He isn't traded out to some other team. He isn't some, like, just nobody. He's unlikely to be seen in the tabloids for doing crazy things. In fact, he's likely to be admired and looked up to as a role model. It's the same thing with ending your out of control behavior. You can be the player who gets to a certain point, you've learned how to control your behavior, and that's all you've wanted. Or you could be the guy who gets to that level and realizes that, okay, cool, like, now I built the foundation for being a great father, for being a great leader, for being that thing I've always wanted to be. And that's the difference between porn reboots and other recovery programs. Recovery is regaining the things that you lost. Usually average, mediocre things. You're just recovering them. Rebooting is hitting that reset button. 
now you actually go for the things that you truly want. And this is one of the reasons you find some brothers going like, oh, the porn reboot system, it seems complex. There's a lot. It might not be for you. It's not for everybody. And I've said this from probably my first video, or my first few videos anyway. There's a big difference between the men in our intensive program, our implementation program, and brothers in our free group who are trying to like figure it out using the free system. A few of them manage to do it, kudos to you. A few of them pick up a few things that help them while they're working with a therapist or 12-step group. But the brothers on the highest level in the intensive, these guys are in and out. Why? Because porn addiction was just something that was standing in their way. If you're that type of man who's like, you know, this is something that's standing in the way of my greatness, and I know it, then our program is right for you. If you're the type of man who's like, I need to be saved, can you save me? I can't stop masturbating, like this is living hell for me. Every time I try, I can't do it. I know there are a lot of you on the channel. Well, brother, until you change your mindset, when I say change your mindset, until you start daring to dream, of the things you want to accomplish until you start thinking bigger. If you're sitting there thinking like, well, you know, I'll probably never get a girlfriend because blah, blah, blah. My wife will probably never have sex with me because my dick doesn't work. I'm just always going to watch porn and visit with escorts. This program is going to be a struggle. If not, it's just not going to work for you. So I highly recommend that you work on yourself and set the right expectations. All right, it takes just a moment to sit down and reset your expectations. That was the perspective I had for you guys, all right? Gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I'm JK, your brother in this struggle. If you enjoyed watching this and you'd like to see more of these videos, please comment, like the video, and subscribe. And click on the little bell icon when you do so that you can get notifications each time I post a video. Have a wonderful day, and I'll speak to you later on in the week. Whenever you're ready, here are four ways that Porn Reboot can help you out for free. The first way is to subscribe to our channel and make sure you click on the notification bell to get a new video every other day. The second way is to get a copy of the free book, Confessions of a Porn Addict, Seven Secrets of Porn Free Men. You'll learn about my personal struggle and the lessons I've learned over a decade, as well as strategies for putting together your porn reboot plan and ending your compulsive behavior with pornography or masturbation. So click on the link in the description below this video. The third way is if you're not sure where to start, but you'd like to learn more about my team and I, if you'd like to spend time with like-minded professionals, entrepreneurs, business owners, guys who work in sales, consulting, or high-level jobs, men who are controlling their behavior, then join our free and confidential group, the Porn Reboot Group on Facebook. There's also a link to join in the description below this video. And finally, if you need help right now because you have a burning issue, your behavior with pornography is hurting you mentally, you're about to lose your relationship, you want to live up to your potential, you want to be an authentic man and free yourself from shame, guilt, and underachieving, click on the link in the description below this video that says free coaching call or visit elevatedrecovery.org and click on the link which says book a call.